Ang piyesta po sa araw na ito, ang tawag ay Pentecost. Ang Pentecost po ay third glorious mystery, the coming down of the Holy Spirit. Pentecost is an event that happened 2,000 years ago. But Pentecost is not just an event. Pentecost is also a promise. It is a promise that the Holy Spirit did not only come to the church 2,000 years ago. It is a promise that the Holy Spirit continues to visit the church, continues to stay in the church, and continues to work in the church. 2,000 years ago, ang kanilang sitwasyon, natatakot sila, pinagbabantaan sila. 2,000 years ago, ang kanilang sitwasyon, nalulungkot sila kasi wala na ang Panginoon. But the Holy Spirit continues to work. At ngayon, mga minamahal kong kapatid, sa sitwasyon ng COVID-19 na buong mundo ay humaharap, ano ang kailangan natin mula sa Espiritu Santo na kailangan-kailangan dahil sa COVID-19 na ating pinagdadaanan? Tatlong F po para matandaan ninyo. Ang unang F ay fear. There are three demons affecting us right now. The whole world. The first is the demon of sadness. The second is the demon of anger. And the third is the demon of fear. Sadness because many have died. Sadness because we are not normal. Sadness because many are sick. Sadness because many are jobless and many are hungry. Kapag ikay nalulungkot, pwede kang umiyak. Mababawasan yung lungkot. Anger? Kung ikay nagagalit, sumigaw ka. Kung ikay nagagalit, punching bag mo. Kung ikay nagagalit, saktan mo, saksakin mo, suntukin mo, na nababawasan yung ating galit. Mali yun. Huwag niyong gagawin yun. Pero, yun ang outlet ng ating galit. But sadness and anger are not like fear. You know why? Because if you have fear and you cry, you're still afraid. If you're fear, if you have fear, and then you shout, you're still afraid. In other words, there is no outlet for fear. Sadness, there is an outlet. Anger, there is an outlet. But for fear, we get paralyzed. With fear, we do not know what to do. With fear, we hide. So how shall we face our fears? Only one, my dear brothers and sisters. Name it. Name your fear. Because if you name your fear, you will be able to endure it. The fear will not disappear. But if you name your fear, you will know the enemy and because you know the enemy, you will be better prepared to handle. Name your fear. Takot kang mamatay. Takot kang maloko. Takot kang magkasakit. Takot kang maiwan. Takot kang mag-isa. Takot kang magutom. Takot kang masagasaan. Takot kang mahuli ng polis. Takot kang mabasa sa social media. Marami tayong takot. But name your fear. Because when you name your fear, you are already one step forward in 
fighting it. Name your fear. So today on Pentecost, we ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, help us to name our fears. We might not be able to remove the symptoms. We might not be able to remove the causes. But at least, Lord, name our fears for us. Because when we have the truth, the truth will take care of our fears. The second F is focus. So fear, focus. Anong ibig kasabihin ko ng focus? There is right and there is wrong. Focus kasi ngayon, litong-lito na tayo. Pwede nang okay ang kasinungalingan. Pwede nang okay ang pumatay. Pwede nang okay ang magnakaw. At hindi lang po yun. Yung mga nagsasabi ng totoo, pinagtatawanan. Yung mga nagsisikap sumunod sa utos ng Diyos, ay nahihirapan. There is good, there is evil, and we are getting confused. Imagine ninyo ang ating pinag-aralan nung high school. Di ba sa kuryente, merong positive, merong negative. Kapag merong kayong kuryente at pinagsama nyo yung positive at saka negative, anong mangyayari? Short circuit. Baka masunog pa. And that is what, happen- what is happening to our world. We are interchanging good and evil. We are calling evil good and we are calling good evil. Do you remember the book of Genesis? The Lord told our first parents, you can eat, you can touch all the trees except the tree of the good and evil. Do not touch it. But our first parents touched the fruit of the tree of good and evil. And what happened? Confusion. What happened? Sin. Brothers and sisters, this is what is happening in the world. Why? Because men and women want to know and want to decide what is good and what is evil. Hindi pwede sapagkat ang masama at saka ang mabuti ay karapatan ng Diyos. It is not the prerogative of men and women to say what is good and what is evil. Because what is good and what is evil belongs to God. And when men and women claim the right to say, ito pwede, ito hindi pwede, ito masama, ito mabuti, ang tanong ay, ito din ba ang sinasabi ng Diyos? Sapagkat kung hindi ito ang sinasabi ng Diyos, magshow short circuit ang Pangasinan, magshow short circuit ang Dagupan, because we are interchanging positive and negative. So today, Pentecost, face to face with COVID-19, we ask the Holy Spirit a second prayer. Holy Spirit, teach us what is good and teach us what is bad. Holy Spirit, teach us what is wrong and teach us what is right. And we will not allow anyone or anything to ever teach us what is good and what is right, dear Lord. Because what is good and what is right belongs to you. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Bible, do not eat from the tree of the good and evil. Ang dami-dami nating puno na ayaw putulin. Ang dami-dami na nating puno na itinanim. Pero yung puno ng masama at mabuti, pinuputol natin palagi. Yung puno ng kasamaan at ng kabutihan, ayaw nating patubuin. At pinipilit nating tayo na lang yung puno at tayo na lang magsasabi ko ng masama at saka mabuti. For as long as we do this, the world will be on short circuit and the, Lord, and the world will be on fire, not with the fire of the Holy Spirit, but with the fire of hell. Focus and ask the Holy Spirit to teach us what is good and evil because only God can teach us what is good and evil. The first is fear. The second is focus. 
The third F is future. Future. Are we still capable of looking at the future? Pansinin po ninyo, anong hinihintay natin? Sana bumaba na yung quarantine. Sana maimbento na yung vaccine. Napakaiksi ng future na ating inaasahan. Yun na lang ba ang future natin? Vaccine? China? India? Italy? Yun na lang? Ang future na lang ba natin ay depende sa mayor, sa governor, sa IATF? Kung kailan ibababa yung quarantine? Ganun na lang? My dear brothers and sisters, the scientists can give us the vaccine. The government to determine our quarantine. But if you ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, show us our future. The Holy Spirit will show you life everlasting. The Holy Spirit will show you that the future is not about vaccines and quarantines. The Holy Spirit will show you that the, ho- that the future is about life everlasting. COVID-19 has challenged our belief in a bright future because we have become short-sighted, narrow-sighted, myopic, even blind. So we ask the Holy Spirit, not just for the vaccine, not just for a lower quarantine, we ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, COVID has made us afraid. Help us to name our fears. Holy Spirit, COVID has caused our short circuit. We are getting confused with right and wrong. Holy Spirit, we look forward not just to a vaccine, but to life everlasting. Because the Holy Spirit, if you ask the Holy Spirit to come to you, will teach you. Ang pinakamasamang pwedeng mangyari sa iyo ay hindi mahawa. Ang pinakamasamang pwedeng mangyari sa iyo ay hindi mamatay dahil sa COVID. Ang pinakasamang pwedeng mangyari sa iyo ay magkasala. The worst that can happen to us is to fall out of the grace of God. The worst that can happen to us is eternal damnation instead of life everlasting. Holy Spirit, we are afraid. Name our fears for us and we will be able to endure. Holy Spirit, we are confused and out of focus. Show us what is right and what is wrong. In spite of the surveys, in spite of the numbers, in spite of the votes, only you can teach us what is right and what is wrong. Not surveys, not popularity, not opinion. Holy Spirit, lead us into the future. Not just the future with vaccines and no more quarantine. Lead us into the future of life everlasting. Because the worst that can happen to us is not death or sickness. The worst that can happen to us is to live in sin. The worst that can happen to us is to go to hell. Holy Spirit, increase our hope, increase our truth, Increase our faith. Holy Spirit, come.